Hey there YouTube, Jack Lair here again. Uh, we're back at Trader's Village. Well, I say we, in that I'm bringing you along with me, retroactively. Welcome to time travel. Uh, kids are at home, one of them's sick, so they stayed home. And it's kind of cold out, so but we'll see how it goes. Let's see what we can find. It was really cold and I was flipping through, I wasn't even finding anything, or so I thought. So I completely missed what just went by. Let's back it up. I didn't even notice that there was a DDR game there. One I don't have, by the way. It's weirdly quiet. Hey. Remember this guy? Boxes. Which I already have three of, because I have a problem. There's some games hiding in here. So the lady wanted five dollars for each of the Dreamcast controllers and wasn't willing to cut any kind of a deal. So I managed to get this one, uh, just the one. It has a VMU in it, which so which was nice. Cool. Drew, get this guy home. Actually, really happy with the guitars that I got. Especially since I got them both working. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't need anything. This is the thrill of the hunt. The hope that one day I'll find. And then again, last time out here, I found you know, box Dreamcast. So. You never know. 
See, there's some more Game Boy Advances in there. Another VMU. If everybody wants 10 bucks for the VMUs, it's going to be a no. PS2. PS2, it's boxes. Wildcats. I used to collect that kind of comic book. Big pile of toys. Brett the Hitman Heart. I stop here because I love toys too, so sue me. Most of these are the McDonald's toys. There are a few, uh, Matchbox ones in here. Yeah. Perhaps articulating mid torso is not the best of ideas. Oh, Batman. Uh, a random cape. Super here with a Florida lease. It's different. He is almost cool enough to sit on my desk. Oh wait, he does something. I might have to talk to somebody about this. Okay, a wise one, Big Daddy Darth. Tell me who this guy is. I'll do some research on my own, but I picked him up for a dollar, and, you know, he does that. So, yeah, he's going fit to fit in nicely at my desk at work. They all know I'm insane there, so it's part of my charm. All right, moving on. Okay, so we've got a waffle iron, boombox, stereo, and a transfer pack. Just kind of hanging out. Tonic Trouble. Uh, don't know. Not a game I'm familiar enough with to drop the money on. Of course, I'm sure if any, it's any good, you guys are going to let me know that I'm an idiot. So. But so far, you guys have been really nice. Oh, nice little Republic 2. By the way, uh, I tried to play uh, the Old Republic. I think I'm allowed to talk about it now. And it just didn't... didn't grab me. <laughs> More away. Game of the Year edition. That's tempting. That's really tempting. Oh, there's just so much to see here in so little time. Uh, the prices have been kind of reasonable. Just stuff that I don't need. Uh, apologize for the shake. This is as always, filmed on location through my iPhone. Look at we got the kids' toys. We've got Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. And then we've got an entire thing of bras and lingerie. Look. Oh, some toys over there. You might have to head back over there. That's cool. Now, last time I was here, there was a cell phone guy that had an end gauge. He's one of the guys I'm trying to find again. But, a needle in a haystack does not begin to cover what's going on here. 
Tupperware. Now, you may be wondering, Jack Lair, what do the people think of you wandering around talking to yourself? <laughs> Dude, this is Dallas. People do that all the time. I am no different than anybody else. Hello. How much, how much of the games? Three. Three? Okay. Anyway, guys. All right, pretty awesome. Uh, Midway Greatest Hits Volume 1 for the 64, as well as Cruising Exotica. I believe that's the last cruising game that I need. So I should have them all now. Uh, three bucks each. Fair deal, in my opinion. All right, let's put them in the backpack and see what else we can find. Yeah, if you're going to put it... I saw this and it made me chuckle, so I had to go over and get a shot of it. They have this nice display case with a brand logo on it that they have upside down on the table. Uh, I don't know why. Well guys, uh, it was kind of slim pickings, but uh, did manage to pick up Dreamcast controller with the VMU for five bucks. The VMU sell uh, around here usually for about three or four alone. I feel that was a pretty good deal. Got the Magic Kung Fu guy who will go on my desk. Still going to have to figure out who this is. Really no clue. And, last but not least, got Cruising Exotica and Midway Treasures Volume 1 for the 64 for three bucks each. Not a bad haul, didn't spend but, uh, what, 20 bucks here? Yeah, so, pretty cool. Alright, uh, as always, thank you for watching and play on.